Here we're about to watch the return temp. We're jumping between 12 and 14. It's dropping down to 13. Let's flip the switch here. Off. See how fast the unit responds. The condensation that is, was accumulated as ice is now melted and running down the bottom pretty quick. Returning to normal temperatures pretty fast as well. Now it's 62. Cooling pretty fast. Or warming back. Okay, so well, we're about at room temperature now. I'm going to flip it back on so we can see the cooling capability. So we're dropping pretty fast. Now it takes about two or three minutes from room temperature, it seems for it to be cooled all the way to a standard or to the the consistent 12 to 14 degrees Fahrenheit and this is degree Fahrenheit alright we're well past freezing 2019 now this is with the new res chip again so there's 16.5 still dropping now we're within the stable range I'm thinking about adding um, another feature to this res chip that way I can get a little colder see it stays at 12 it doesn't go much further than 12 nope sorry I moved my stuff See it's jumping again, it'll go back down. But <clears throat> that's what I have so far. Now potentially this unit will be used for a portable air conditioner. And uh multifunction. I want to personally make it for my 71 VW Super Beetle. I don't have air conditioning, nor do I have the cash to put down on it, nor do I want to do the work. Plus why do it? Why have someone do it for you when you can do it yourself, right? So I got a little creative and I've created my uh, my own version of a thermoelectric chip that instead uh, seems to cool fairly well and it does really well as you saw. I'm still in development phase. I've invested way too much money into this. Uh, probably more than it took to actually get air conditioning in my bug, which is a part right now. Because somehow I fucked up, or I apologize for the cursing. I made a mistake when adjusting the valves. So, uh, that's a whole nother monkey. But yeah, that's what I got so far. Um, potentially this could be money maker. Tell me what you think, guys. Would you pay... And how much would you pay for a small air conditioner in your car, as a in your RV, in your tent, or possibly a small home office air conditioning unit? It will be about the size of a uh, a large Bible. Now I imagine, <clears throat> I mean large, like the old style Bibles, the four or five inches wide probably about six to eight inches wa uh, long and maybe half of, uh, oh, a whole foot in depth so uh, tell me what you think plugs into your cigarette lighter what else could you ask for you know it's not gonna cool your car off in 10 minutes or less, but hey, when you're on a long road trip and you don't have AC in your car, hell, even a short road trip, that extra little kick helps, especially here in Texas. So, uh, 
Again, I'm going to show you guys a little bit of the uh, temperature again. Wow, it's got quite a bit of frost on this guy. Oh, damn, 9 degrees, 8.5, 8. So, yeah, that's the lowest I've seen it so far, 7, 7.5, nice. That's amazing. Hmm. So, again, the potential of this thing is amazing. <laughs> I, uh, I don't know what I've created. So, guys, give me a heads up on what you think about this, okay? And I know I didn't show much of the unit uh, for patent's sake, so don't tease me about that. Because it's for my own safety. Thank you.